Ooh, that's a dense cloud. What's going on guys? Welcome to Late Night Base. My name is Rabbit. Um, I'm talking today about Raylon. Um, if you haven't tried this week material, it's um, one of the newer crazes uh, that's going around right now. Uh, this is a synthetic cotton. Um, not organic, it's not... They do chemicals and they wash it and they chemical bath it again and they wash it and wash it and wash it. And it comes out pretty clean. Um, not boiling it or anything, I'm just using it. I got a couple bags from a friend of mine. Um, I think he got like 500 foot. I mean, that's enough stuff to last you for a year and a half, maybe longer. I mean, I can make a bag of organic cotton last me as much as I build, and I'm constantly changing wicks uh, for flavor and stuff. Um, you know, I can get a good six months out of a bag. Um, that's like five pounds of it. It's crazy. Okay, talking about the material itself. It looks like cotton, but when you feel it, it's a little bit different. The fiber kind of create like a silky fabric feel to it. Does it feel quite like the, the softness of cotton? Uh, pulls apart like cotton. It twists like cotton. It acts a lot like cotton. Um, Taste-wise, I've ran this in pretty much every RDA I own. And uh, getting pretty much the same results throughout the spectrum of um, ohms and stuff. Um, I've had some higher ohm builds that done fine at, and then of course the lower ohm build. I've got a low ohm build on this. Um, this is a 22 gauge single coil parallel. You know, surface area is crazy on this thing. And uh, the Raylon's keeping up. Uh, just as good as cotton. Um, I do not like this as well as Japanese cotton. Um, it seems, Japanese cotton seems weak better and stuff like that. But for what this is and for the price you pay, it's not that bad. And I'm actually out of Japanese cotton now and organic, so I've been forced to use this. So I've been getting some good stuff on it. Um, it works really well, though. I do get some flavors from it. Just like with cotton, when you first wick and you take that first pull off of it before that wick really breaks in, you get some odd taste. Uh, a lot of times cotton is kind of like a, a chemical taste, a burnt taste. With Raylon, I get that too, but it's more more chemically uh, as it breaks in. Now, after a few minutes of using it, it definitely goes away. Um, but it does leave behind a texture to the liquid. It doesn't matter what I use or what uh, flavors and stuff like that. It creates like a buttery taste. Um, like a rubbery coating, like if you eat popcorn, how it gets that kind of coating in your mouth, all that salt and sugar, that's what I get from the Raylon. I don't get that with organic cotton or Japanese cotton. Um, so that's kind of an odd thing. Um, personally, it's good in a pinch. I would not use this every day. Um, it's just not, I don't know, the taste of weird. Organic cotton is so clean. Um, you know, I've been using Chattel's cotton for a while now, and it's just very, very clean. It, Works great. I don't get any taste whatsoever. I've eaten on that that first pull. It's a very clean uh, cotton. Um, but you go look at the price. You know, Chattel's cotton, uh, two bags with a couple pads in it will cost you about sixteen dollars, and those last a month maybe if if you rebuild as much as I do. And I weave it, you know, two three times a day on different atomizers. Uh, but with this Raylon, you could look a year if you wick every day constantly. You still have a ton of this stuff for about the same price. So you kind of have to do your your your, your judgments there. But yeah, guys, um, if you have any questions, email me, rabbitsreviewhotmail.com. Visit the Facebook group and page, Late Night Vapes. As always, guys, have a great day. Vape on. See you guys later.